Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are grappling with a foul stench at their Montecito mansion as nearby legal cannabis farms reportedly wreak havoc on the neighborhood. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex reside in a plush £12 million home, sharing the Tuscan-style property, complete with a cinema, gym, and pool, with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. However, complaints are rife among neighbors about pungent skunk-like odors and a jaw-clamping stench from nearby cannabis farms. Allegedly, one of these farms was once rumored to feature as the backdrop for Meghan's new Netflix cookery series announcement, though these speculations were promptly squashed earlier this month. The farm is part of a larger trend sweeping across the area whereby traditional crops such as avocados and grapes are being replaced by an industrial-scale cultivation of cannabis plants. One resident, initially mistaking the smell for a rodent issue, had pest control experts install a trap, only to discover no signs of mice. Reported by Mail Online. This homeowner also allegedly contributed to a lawsuit against two of the farms whose output has particularly severe olfactory impacts, however notably not including the one linked to Meghan's show, reports The Mirror. Mail Online suggests that the residents might deploy scrubbers as a solution. These pricey air filtering machines, estimated at up to £17,000 each, have the capability to eradicate 84% of the cannabis lingering fragrance. The catch lies in the quantity required to be effective, 10 units per acre are needed. Prince Harry has drawn back the curtain on his own experiments with drugs in his memoir Spare in March 2023, his candid confessions detailed contrasting perspectives on cocaine and marijuana. Speaking to Dr. Gabor Mate, he divulged, that didn't do anything for me. It was more of a social thing. He elaborated, it gave me a sense of belonging for sure. It also made me feel different to the way I was feeling, which is kind of the point. The Duke of Sussex offered a contrasting take on cannabis, admitting, marijuana is different that actually did really help me. After opting out of their royal duties, Harry and Meghan have largely maintained a low-profile life over the past four years in America, becoming what some label as ghosts in their own neighborhood, according to Express US. A local boutique employee in Montecito shared her perception, stating, day-to-day -day people don't see them. I don't think it's too much of an impact here. Echoing similar sentiments, a resident and co-owner of Trezor Montecito mentioned, it's kind of the way Montecito is anyway, everyone just does their own thing. Zach Rosen, the managing editor of the local Montecito Journal newspaper, shared with the media, we probably feel the media presence more than their presence. He further commented, we're usually taking the stance that these are our community members and we do want to respect their privacy. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. One possible explanation for the Sussex's limited local outings could be their packed schedule with upcoming ventures.
Meghan is currently developing her new lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard and collaborating with Harry on two Netflix productions. Additionally, the couple has just returned from a tour of Nigeria, marking their latest international engagement.